Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna do a very neat effect which is called Vignette. So basically what you're seeing in front of you is the end result. So a vignette is just basically like a lens which is giving a focus to the center because the more you go toward the corners then well, the darker it becomes and that effect is being used heavily in the photograph industry or in uh, video games as such but quite subtle and the effect is very very useful and just giving a smoother look to the things which you want to focus on so if you want to know how to do that very very easy in game maker studio stay tuned this is one of indie I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a title to be announced and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I at least try to upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can. So let's get right into the good stuff because it is not too difficult per se and I'm gonna guide you through how to make your own vignette and well how to use it in Game Maker Studio. The process is pretty simple so um, I will do that vignette in Photoshop. Of course you can do that in GIMP which is free so this is a choice for you but um, I just do it in here because well I, I have it and I guess the process is pretty similar in GIMP or other well programs which can do this kind of stuff so I just create a new thing and here I have a very specific um, resolution which is uh, 256 by 144 why that because that's a 16 by 9 resolution which is quite low of course if you want to have your vignette a little bit more let's call it smoother a little bit more detailed then of course you can ramp it up but I just use a very small one so this is a choice you can of course change and do as you please. So we create a new one, then we zoom in a little bit so you can see more. Make a new layer, kill the background layer because yeah, we don't need you. Then we do and fill up with a bucket, complete black screen. And for now, this is not special. Then we need to have view uh, your rulers, which are those things here. So Let's put them on because now I just press uh, transform. You can, I don't know, you can use that here. Bam, bam, take your rulers. And because now, because I wanted to have the middle point of the thing, now we have a selection tool which we want to have an ellipse. And we can go from the center, but we press alt. And bam, we can do something like this to cut out. But I don't want to go too close to the borders because of a very specific reason. Of course, I could, I could do something like this to get the maximum. But we're going to do some blurring. And for that, we need to have some distance. So we cut it out. And for now, we have a, well, a prototype of a vignette, which already looks okay. But I want to smoothen out the, well, the process here. How can we do that? Well, we go on the filter, blur, Gaussian blur. As you can see, bam, play with the ruler here. You can create your custom vignettes, depending how smooth your corners are to be. Let me go OK. And export it as a PNG. So here we go, export, uh, save for web because we want to make it as small as possible, then save it as a PNG because you can, well, you could use it. You can do all the other things, but we need some transparency, then save, and yeah. And then we need to upload it to, well, your sprites. I guess you know how to do that. So this is the thing here, top left aligned. So this is good. And now we come to the interesting part, how we actually implement it. So for now, let's kill it. And start um, for now the room doesn't have a vignette hopefully it starts fast so you can actually see and as you can see now the vignette is gone and it still looks good but let's say the you you like the effect you saw before 
Therefore, we just put it in because it's just like some cosmetic stuff and I think it enhances the experience overall because you just give it some extra detail, which is always good. And for now, um, you cannot just go and say draw a sprite, the regular one, because your sprite is, um, well, is kind of uh, not limited, but it has a specific size. Therefore, we cannot just draw it. We need to do something. We need to stretch it. So we go for stretched. And then which one are we taking? Uh, this one here, extend, because we need to change the alpha as well. So what is the first thing we need? First of all, the vignette. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can actually see the whole code. So what we need here is the sprite, the sub image. I don't know, I just have one. Then the X and Y position, which is in your draw GUI, always the top left corner. Because it's a draw GUI, it will always follow. So this is the very practical part, even though maybe you have some moving. Then therefore we just gave for X and Y 0 and 0. And now we need W and H, which is just the width and the height. And that, well, you can get it by your display width and display height. But I've, I've got my camera system. And there I have my, as you can see, those thingies here. So for example, I can put them in here. But I, I already set it up, so I just say from my camera, my display width, and from my camera, my display height. Let's get this guy here, so I get my height. But of course you can uh, do that like this, just store it into variables and that put them in here. This is of course up to you. And here the last thing is the color, see white, because we don't want to actually do some blending, some, some tinting, we don't need that. And then the alpha, let's go for one now. Close it and this is all the magic. So this is just basically it and for now it will be, well, let's call it very hard. And as you can see, the black is very, very hard and, well, <laughs> it just draws over everything. And therefore, you just change the alpha, let's say for 0. Point, uh, what was it? 0. 0.7 I put in, let's go for 0. 0.5. Start it again. And as you can see, this is... Um, just a thing which you need to adapt for yourself and as you can see now it's more smoother it's not too hard and it just looks cool and of course if you want to have it definitely more detailed because i've seen that in other games where the vignette is definitely definitely bigger then i don't know make a make a bigger one and then of course you can always stretch it down or up so that was pretty much it of course you can do that with um, just the last note with a shader but eh, we just do it like this, works pretty fine, works solidly, no problem. So that was pretty much it, have a good one, one up indie.